While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Developing here at home tonight, the police body camera video showing a 13-year-old boy being shot by an officer will be released. Hey, Shalom, Most High Christ Bless, IUIC Chicago here, Officer Joe. Hey, Shalom, Most High Christ Bless, Officer Hosea. So what we are here doing is we are here on a flyer mission to help wake up the elect. We got our people out here suffering right now due to the fact that a young boy was killed, 13 years old, gunned down by the police. We don't know the, the whole circumstance what happened, but from what was told, the young boy was out 2 o'clock in the morning, something occurred, and the police ended up gunning the boy down. So that's why the people are out here. So what we're doing is out here showing them the reasons why and bringing forth solutions. And with the people that want to speak to us, we're not pushing ourselves on nobody because it is a sensitive situation. So the people are actually coming to us and wanting to know. So we're giving them the reasons why we are here and showing them the reasons why this is happening and Lord's will bring forth solutions. Yeah, so what we did, we just showed them the curses in the Bible, showed them that God is angry with us. That's why all of these things are happening to us. We're getting gunned down in the street. We are being oppressed by our oppressor. He's shooting us down and getting away with it. A lot of people had a lot of questions in regards to, well, how does it stop? Do we overtake the government? No, that's not what we're about. We're about repenting, coming back, keeping God's laws as an Israelite, and then God will give that judgment at that appointed time. So our people are receptive. Um, it's a sad situation, 13-year-old. They claim he had a gun. Um, the family is pushing for the police to release the body camera footage, but we'll see. It's the same story on both sides of the nation whether you're Southern King or Northern King, we're both going through the exact same curses. And that's what we showed in the Bible today. So Lord's will and repent, and God will get the victory. They couldn't shoot his, his, his leg, his arm, up in the air. I don't know, but that killed my baby. I just want to know what really happened to my baby. The cops shoot him up. Shoot him. They had a lot of options. But not kill him. Getting out here in support with our brothers and sisters about the incident that occurred here with the young boy being shot by uh, the police officer. And we have here a sister, what's your name? Maria. Maria, um, who has some information about it. So we just want to get the word out about what's going on here in the city of Chicago that a lot of people don't know about. So if I may ask, uh, what exactly do you know about the situation? So, Adam Polito, uh -huh. 13 years old, student at Gary Elementary. Little Village, where we're at right now, has the highest uh, COVID deaths in the state in here. It's, it's, it's been, so, you know, we're in a very difficult place. And so we have a 13-year-old out on the street, 2.30, he gets killed by the police, right? And so we're calling for the police to, you know, we, we can't have police think that they're God. That they are, that they're judged jury and, and, the, and the court system to now, now take a decision on, on a child's life. And just like that, this child is no longer with us, right? And so we're calling for justice, we're calling for, uh, you know, police accountability. You know, we need co community control of the police. We also need investment in our young people. You know, there's a lot of conflict, a lot of blame going on, right? Why is this 13 year old on the street? And unfortunately, you know, the police, instead of finding a, having a different solution, finding other ways that we could engage with our youth, find that the only tool they have is by killing them. And that, that's not right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.